The history of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology is rich in both scientific accomplishments and personal achievements. Although it is one of the world's leading technological institutions, its real greatness lies in the people who are connected with it. I am honored by your wish that I should uh, take part in the discussions of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Let's do something really great together. Let's build something which is going to be just mind-boggling in its possibility. Let's build it together so that we can go on and build on top of it. You know, these science problems are tough, uh, but they're fun to work on. Uh, the jobs that are involved with them are, you know, you can have an impact. OpenCourseWare is a web-based program that will provide free access to primary materials for virtually every course at MIT. One could argue that OCW is the most important achievement that MIT has experienced, helped to create, put on the map in the last decade. Kismet is an anthropomorphic robotic head that is specialized for face-to-face -face interaction between humans and this robot. I still have a dream. My husband once said that the inseparable twin of racial injustice is economic injustice. So it is not for us a matter of having come a long, long way, but rather and instead it is a matter of having still yet a long, long way to go. I think images uh, obviously always appear in a context and the way we uh, think about images is contextually driven. Dr. Adjutant? That looks very much like a, an ordinary camera. What keeps the water out from ruining the film? Well, this camera is uh, like an ordinary camera, except the case acts as a waterproof case. It was developed in uh, France by uh, Captain Jacques Cousteau. Dr. Edgerton has been adapting his electronic flash lamps to photograph another world, which is invisible to the naked eye, the world of the ocean depths. When George Washington, in the middle of the Revolutionary War, decided to wipe out the Iroquois civilization, which was, in many ways, more advanced than the uh, colonists, except in modes of warfare, uh, he succeeded. A whole lot of numerical linear algebra is built around working with orthonormal vectors, because they never get out of hand. They never overflow or underflow. We have decided to devote the course this year to a study of the space shuttle. Our first experiment was very simple. We popped subjects in the scanner and we showed them pictures of faces and pictures of objects like these here. Meanwhile, we're scanning the subject's head as they're just looking at these pictures. How do we use computation to understand the world in which we live? So we have an approach that's very scalable. Uh, we're actually working on scaling this up to meters. I will be willing to predict with certainty that we'll detect gravity waves. But it's a long haul and uh, it's not an easy project. I want to take off my academic hat and tell you things that I wish somebody had told me when I was graduating. Every one of you has ability in proportions that are enormous compared to what you believe and what you've ever used. 